All right, well, we go from laughing to tears. It may just be the tear jerker of the season hitting theaters tonight. Spoiler Alert is based on the best selling memoir by Michael Osiello about acceptance, relationship strains, and finding your way back. We had a chance to sit down with the cast that included Sally Field and Jim Parsons. I'm worried that you're going to break my heart. No, I'm dad. This is my friend, Mike. A friend? Yes, mom. Just a friend. What is going on here? Who is this guy? He's my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? A powerful love story based on Michael's real life and his relationship with his partner, Kit, who was facing a terminal illness. I've never been through anything like it. It was just really the journey of a lifetime. It really was. We promised a bed. All the beds are occupied today. I don't care where you have to go and find one. I don't care if you have to drive to Ikea and buy one. I don't care if you have to go to Jennifer Convertibles. Give my husband a bed! Osiello was on set watching all of this play out with an actor that looked just like his late husband. I couldn't help but, you know, be, you know, behind the monitor sobbing. It could have been overwhelming for me, I think, um, knowing that Michael was gonna be there on set watching me play Kit. And certainly uh, I felt a huge level of responsibility and, and I also felt that it was such a privilege to be getting to, to play Kit. It will take you on a roller coaster of emotions and an entire box of Kleenex when Kit is diagnosed with terminal cancer. Yet that might be just what saves their relationship. Compassion and love and how hard it is to love anybody. Um, whoever that somebody is, whether it be the parents to a child um, or your partners. Love the running scenes, by the way. So how much, just give me a little background on that. How many takes did you ever out sprint him? <laughs> <laughs> we did a lot of takes sometimes and it was really, really cold out. Sometimes we were running on rough terrain and I was like, keep your eyes on the ground. Don't make sure you, you don't you know, fall in a hole or something. And it, was, and it was Jim that came up and tweaked his ankle. And I went, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not, she kicked him. <laughs> she, she did it on purpose. She thought I was stealing the scene from her. <laughs> not on my time, mister. <laughs> so see, a roller coaster of emotions. Spoiler, uh, spoiler alert, it's PG-13 and it runs just under two hours. Okay, I was talking to Anthony about this. It's a really, really powerful movie, but it just makes you question so many things and how you, you know, we always talk about just being in the moment and appreciating life and, you know, the, the small things just don't matter. Yeah. And when you have someone that you love and then you have a strained relationship and you think about breaking up and then you have a terminal illness, Woo, does it bring you back together yeah. in, in such a powerful way. But yeah, and I love Sally Field. Sally, six she decades. so good. Six decades. Oh, yeah. We talked about <laughs> Gidget, Flying Nun, all the way to Smoking oh, the yeah. Bandit. I mean, so, so much fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a Legends. good one, though. So some, some screenings tonight, and then it opens up everywhere tomorrow.